What's up everyone, we are back with another Team Tour recap. This is week 4 and this time we are facing Studio Wibbly, consisting of players such as Kyogre, who is considered to be the best player ever, Ruihan, Jezer, Flip, Booty Gladiator, Dino and Gaps. And for this matchup I believe I am facing off against Jezer, who is considered to be their third best player on the team. Uh, for the record, I think I am considered to be the fourth best player on the team, even though I think I'm going to be demoted after this week. But yeah, we agreed on playing a best of five. And in case you are unaware, every game that I am trying to play, I am trying to play on a different pack. So you can see right here, this game is played on the golden pack, this game is played on the puppy pack. And here, this game that I am going to be showcasing, let's hop right into it is played on the turtle pack. I have not been showcasing many turtle pack games, but I am quite confident in my ability of the turtle pack. And here we can see that I get a relatively decent start. I am also freezing an apple because I think it's a good idea to freeze it over a honey. Most of the time you don't want a honey. And uh, if we find something that we want to level and we for example get a rabbit I think we'll be very happy with an apple but most of the time that's not going to be the case so we'll most likely unfreeze it by the end of the turn or the end of the next turn at least for now let's try to hop into battle and not lose my opponent is going for horses which is very scary Horses is actually a very good pet to pick up in the versus mode because it gives you a lot of tempo and perhaps it can get you many wins. But thankfully this time we draw. Uh, when both players draw on turn 1, you are trying to actually lose the second turn because uh, on turn 3 you are hoping to see a snail and uh, you can get some free HP that way. Here we get Kind of unlucky, we get a double beaver, double pig, but no levels. Maybe I should have kept rolling for levels and uh, accepted the fact that I'm losing, but I also think that having a duck on the team is not a bad idea because we can sell it for 1 HP onto multiple pets. So here we go, we are unfreezing the apple as we said we would. We are combining the pets because as I said we are trying to lose, positioning in a bad way. And uh, let's take a look if we lose or not. And yeah, I did a very good job losing, which is, I think, the one thing that I'm very good at. And uh, let's see if we get rewarded. And we are. We immediately find a snail in the shop and also a spider. So we will sell the duck onto both of those. We will get lots of HP on this turn. And if we manage to get a good unit for the fifth slot right here, we are going to be very happy. And we find a peacock. Peacock I think is considered to be the best tier 2 pet. It was a little bit unfortunate that I didn't throw into it immediately. So maybe I could have frozen the snail and the spider and throw it one time in order to try to find the peacock. But I think that's a little bit of wishful thinking. So here we go, we pick the peacock. The snail is going to give it one extra HP so it's going to become a 2-6. I'm trying to position in such a way that I maybe counter a frontline duck because that's what I'm anticipating is about to happen. And uh, let's take a look if it works out or not. Uh, we actually face a frontline badger which also works for us. We get very lucky with a camo out of the spider and therefore you get some extra stats on the peacock and that results in a win. Winning is actually, it's good, don't get me wrong, but it's not the best thing because now this snail we have on the team is useless. We are peeling the spider hoping to get a tier 3 unit and uh, there are lots of things that we could be hoping for. Like Dodo I think can be good, Rabbit can be very good, Giraffe can be amazing, Ox even is not that horrible and of course the sheep. So it's like a 50% chance of you getting something decent. Or I guess even with the dolphin it becomes like a 60% chance. So let's see what we get. We get a giraffe which I think is one of the better ones we could have gotten. And now we can start scaling up the peacock. Uh, I am selling the snail hoping to get the beaver onto the team. And we can get a free level up next turn. It maybe costs our victory on this turn. But we are completely fine with that. 
let's take a look at we if we win or not my opponent did reposition and today did a very good job because they end up beating us handily so their team is starting to look a little bit scary as well double flamingo so they have lots of stats if they manage to find any pills and they also have a worm so they get the cheap apple that they can put on the badger every single turn as well so yeah, hopefully we manage to stay ahead on scaling, because we have a giraffe, I think we are very good right now. Here we get an option between the blowfish and the turtle, and I decide to actually take the blowfish, because I think it can be a little bit disruptive when they have a badger on the team. But I think most pro players will just end up taking the turtle, so that is my personal quirk right here. We are going to take the blowfish, hopefully it pays off. We're going to take yet another giraffe and we're going to start scaling both the blowfish and the peacock now. Trying to position in anticipation of the repositioning of the badger, which is a little bit difficult to do. Basically every turn you are playing mind games with your opponent, hoping that you manage to outsmart them. And uh, let's see if we manage to do it. I think the blowfish actually gives us a little bit of an edge because maybe we can snipe some nasty flamingo that is very badly placed. Or even the horse right here, it also has 3 HP or less, so it can be one shot by the blowfish. So let's see if we do something right on this turn. We get the stats. And uh, we can see right here he put a garlic on the badger and the badger has lots of attack and HP so it's going to be a menace. But uh, at least we did get to snipe the flamingo as we wanted. Uh, sadly I don't think we are going to be winning on this turn though, yep, because of the flamingo stats. But we are getting close and uh, we do have multiple levels set up for the next turn. So I think now maybe we put the peacock at the front, so hopefully it trades with the uh, badger. Very lucky salad right here, hitting the perhaps best two units I could have hoped for, the stronger giraffe and the peacock. And here we are going to reposition, yep, peacock goes to the front, and this should be a win honestly. Like when you have a badger on the team, I feel like you are kind of limited with the... Uh, options for positioning so they can either put the badger first or they can put it last that is my experience generally and here we managed to win because we predicted the frontline badger so here we go we take double levels on this turn one results in a turkey plus crocodile and the other is a seal plus crocodile so for this team unfortunately I don't think seal is very good because when you have a peacock and a blowfish you usually want to have them with high amounts of HP and they can deal damage themselves or gain attack. So we don't really need the extra attack scaling but I think I will take the crocodile that is offered. Peacock also very good, uh, not peacock sorry, the turkey also very good because it will allow us to transition into the late game very smoothly. Uh, here I am offered a uh, whale plus deer, which I unfortunately pass up. Maybe another type of player would have taken those, but I am feeling quite confident in my team, especially because he's not scaling too much. Here we end up, I think, winning. Yep. But uh, it could have been scary. He did level into a cow, so he did get some stats from the milk, but uh, he could have also leveled into a monkey as well, which is kind of scary to think about. We did not level into a monkey ourselves, so we are still hoping uh, that the giraffe scales us up sufficiently. But at least we have double levels for next turn, or I guess it would be a single level just from the peacock. But I think that can still be good enough. Let's see if we win. He did put a melon on the badger. He did have a turtle on the team last turn, so I guess I could have anticipated this. But uh, here we go, I think we might lose because of this. But we actually get very lucky and the health on the blowfish is just enough so we can win. So things are looking very good right now. We're going to take our level and it is a leper plus mammoth combo. Both of which can be very useful but because I think his team is very susceptible to snipes. Maybe we can pop a melon, maybe we can get rid of a nasty unit that is there to protect from the badger snipe so i think we take the leopard right here yep 
and uh, we're hoping to see something like a monkey or cow now so we can start scaling and uh, thankfully we get very lucky by finding both of them I decide to sell the peacock because in the end game I don't think it's going to be super useful to us skunk is also in the shop but I don't think we really need to reduce the HP of this badger if we can just one for one trade into it so here we go we start getting some HP on the leopard and most importantly some attack and then the monkey as well. The leopard is going to be up to 19 attack at the end of the turn which means it's going to be dealing a 9 damage snipe and uh, 9 damage onto his team I think is very devastating so we are hoping for the best right here. We also find a turtle for a potential melon for ourselves. I think if we manage to get a melon on the leopard, we'll be very happy with ourselves. And as you can see here, the team gets almost completely wiped at the start of the fight. So even if he has a strong badger on the team, it's not going to be a big deal. And I believe this is going to be the final turn. Here I take a turtle pill for the melon. And uh, honestly, I think I could have taken either of these and still would have been very happy with my victory. It's kind of difficult for my opponent to do anything unless he gets like uh, triple cows in the shop that uh, he can stat up massively with. But I think I will end up taking the mammoth because I want to pop this melon right here. And it also is going to have lots of HP for a potential skunk that my opponent might try to cheese me with. Yep, you can see now it's the uh, highest amount of HP onto the team. So the skunk is going to target this instead of the leopard. So let's take a look. He did pick up a skunk, so I think that was a good call from us. The positioning is also very good on our side. We get to pop the melon. And uh, even though he picked up a Rhino Melon, I don't think it's going to be good enough for him and we end up winning. So very lucky win from us. We did get all the scaling that we needed, we hit all the late game units that we needed and it ended up being quite easy in the end, while my opponent had to struggle a lot and try to scam some victories. But I am sad to say that out of the four games that we played, this is the only one that I won sadly, the turtle versus turtle matchup. We also played a golden versus golden where he beat me. We also played a puppy versus turtle where I actually misplayed completely and ended up losing. And then we also played a golden or um a star from me versus a golden from my opponent and I ended up losing miserably there as well. So yeah, my set did end up being a loss with this being as the only win. But let's talk about the team real quick before ending off the video. I have the spreadsheet right here so we can take a look at the matchups that have happened. By the time I'm recording this video, out of 7 matches only 3 have been played so we don't know the final result yet but it's looking pretty bad for us because Damon lost to Kyogre 2-3 which was uh, very unfortunate. I thought Damon had the edge right there but sadly not. We also have Violet Citizen losing 2-3 to Flip which I totally did not expect. Flip is an extremely good player it seems and uh, he ended up snagging the victory right here. And of course my loss 1-3 to, to Jezzer, so the rest of our teammates need to win all of their games in order for us to be able to win this week, which I kind of doubt is happening, but uh, a man can also dream, right? So I think we have a chance right here and I am going to be hoping for the best. But in the meantime, this is going to make it for my Team to a recap video. If you enjoyed, I really hope that you like, sub, all the generic stuff and I will talk to you next time. Take care.